Good morning children. Today we shall learn about perimeter of an equilateral triangle. First, what is perimeter? Here we have a garden which is square in shape. Let's assume each side is 50 meter. So this is 50 meter, this is 50 meter and this side also is 50 meter. Now what is the perimeter? We know perimeter is the total boundary of a closed figure and which we showed here by the dotted red line. So the perimeter here becomes 50 meter plus 50 meter plus 50 meter plus 50 meter which is equal to 200 meters. We also saw in the case of a square the perimeter is equal to 4 times the side length because in a square all the 4 sides are of equal length. So the perimeter is 4 times the side length and the unit could be anything meter, centimeter, kilometer etc. Now, Coming to an equilateral triangle, we know in an equilateral triangle all the angles are equal. This angle A, angle B, angle C. All these three angles are equal. So we say angle A is equal to angle B which is equal to angle C. Not just this, even the sides are equal meaning the line segment AB, BC and CA are of equal lengths. So an equilateral triangle has equal angles and equal sides. Coming to the perimeter of an equilateral triangle what is the perimeter? Let us assume each side is equal to 7 meter. So the line segment AB is equal to 7 meters. Line segment BC is also equal to 7 meter and line segment CA is also equal to 7 meters. And what will be the perimeter now? We know the perimeter is the total boundary of the closed figure. So here it becomes equal to 7 meters plus 7 meters plus 7 meters. So we can say perimeter is equal to 7 meters plus 7 meters plus 7 meters which is equal to 3 times 7 meters as all the three sides are of equal length which is 7 meters. So the perimeter is equal to 3 times the side length and hence the perimeter becomes equal to 3 multiplied by 7 which is equal to 21 meters. So what did we learn here? That perimeter of an equilateral triangle is equal to 3 times the side length as all the 3 sides are of equal length and the unit could be anything meter, centimeter, kilometer etc. So now you know how to find the perimeter of an equilateral triangle if you know the length of the side of a triangle. That's all for now. Bye bye children.